Hello everyone, today is May 11th, 2021. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon and it's 64 Fahrenheit, 18 Celsius. I just got off the number four train in the borough of the Bronx. And in this video, I'm going to be walking through the neighborhood of University Heights. Named after the university who set foot in this area. And it's a university that you may very well know. And that university's name is NYU, otherwise known as New York University. Now, NYU isn't located in this neighborhood anymore, but the campus is still here, but it's under a different administration. And that's because um, NYU sold their Bronx campus to the city of New York, the city university system, and now it's home to the Bronx Community College. So we'll go and explore that area. It's my first time in this uh, area exploring. Actually, no, I've been to this subway station before. I've went to the east side, but never to the west side. So we're gonna go out this way. Right here, Burnside Avenue, west side. This is the border of University Heights at Jerome Avenue. Now NYU, the reason why they moved here to the Bronx, well they didn't actually move here, they actually had the campus built here, is because their existing location in the Greenwich Village ran out of room, they needed more space. So they found this location here in University Heights and the campus was constructed and finally opened in 1894. But they finally had to sell it in 1973 due to financial difficulties with the New York City economy. All right, here's Burnside Avenue and Jerome Avenue. Hope everything's okay with this ambulance here. Hey. Hello. Oh, it's a camera. It's called the, it's called the Pocket 2. It stabilized everything. It's oh, awesome. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to do a tour of this neighborhood. So. Well, how, and do it like spin around? Do this like rotate or something? Yeah, I mean, you could just flip it around like this and then you'll be you know selfie saying, like mode. Like a video. Like if you want to do a rap video, do this spin around like that? Like nah. Going yeah. Circle? Yeah, you can do like this. Oh, that's a. Yeah. Oh. Like that, it'll be good. How much, how much one of those goes? I think I pay like. 300 for this oh, it's not uh, bad compared to like a dslr which like thousands the of dollars you know the micro the micro place yeah i can find can one there what me? happened can, <laughs> I find, <laughs> can i find one there and what the happened you know the micro place they got oh all the, um, i'm not i'm stuff. not familiar with it oh, yeah. i know best buy's got it best buy yeah all right, thank you all right man all right, take man. it easy right. <laughs> that guy was pretty funny so, hey, what's up? This <laughs> neighborhood is full of life. It's mostly uh, Hispanic, Latino, and African American now. But it wasn't always like that. Originally, there was a lot of wealthy landowners who set foot in this neighborhood just due to its location on the hill. Hence the name University Heights. Because NYU, they relocate on top of the hill. But let's see what's around here now. Here we have a, looks like a Hispanic food store. Oh man, I think that's the uh, pork skin. That stuff is really good. I think they call it the chorizos. I've had it before. No, I think it's called chincharon. I try not to eat that stuff too much because it could get unhealthy for you. So the main thoroughfares of University Heights are Burnside Avenue and University Avenue. I think uh, Sedgwick Avenue is also another uh, major street as well. 
Lots of construction happening over here. Got a Dunkin' Donuts. That's pretty staple in every neighborhood, Dunkin' Donuts. We got a beauty supply store. Food Dynasty Supermarket. This is actually a pretty large grocery store for the neighborhood. Looks like every single block is higher and higher in elevation. Here we've got Grand Gourmet Deli, local neighborhood bodega a local optical store a photo studio as well wow that photo studio is actually pretty busy i didn't think photo studios are were as popular as they once were but Prove me wrong, I guess. Uh, Chinese takeout restaurant, Sing Wang. This looks like a, I don't know what it is, phone store, electronic store. All right, so over here, we see another name for the neighborhood. It says the Morris Heights Health Center. And then across the street, it says Morris Heights Health Center main site. Now, um, Morris Heights is the neighborhood just south of here. I'm not sure what the neighborhood uh, was named before it was called the University Heights. But maybe it was also called Morris Heights as well. I just know when NYU moved here in 1894, the neighborhood was changed to University Heights and it stuck. Wonder what's up with this area here. Looks like it's abandoned. Definitely strange to see this. All right, so this is University Avenue. I'm going to make a right over here and head up to the Bronx Community College campus. Hopefully it's open and I'm able to access it. I think I'd rather cross the street first and then go right. Looks like it's a little bit more active on this side. Got a fashion store there, a local deli and gourmet uh, place over here. I'm telling you, these local grocery stores and bodegas, they really keep the community spirit alive. Very integral part of the um, New York City, like living, the local corner grocery store. Got some local housing here. All right, I think I might have my answer for what that abandoned site was, where I came from, because there across the street, I know I'm a little bit far from it now, there's a New York City Parks Department sign. And you can actually go up there and like hang out. It looks like a pretty simple park though. It doesn't really seem like there's any kind of like amenities other than just walking paths. I'm still going uphill.
I'll actually open up my phone app right now and tell you exactly what park it is. Actually, it's a pretty long path. It says it's the uh, Aqueduct Walk. Wow, it's a pretty long walk. It goes all the way up to uh, Kingsbridge Road, which is just past 192nd Street. Hi. I didn't see this dog here until I was close by because I was looking down at my phone. But I'm at 180th Street, so this park go across the street goes for like 12 blocks. That's incredible. It makes sense that the uh, old aqueduct system was built in this area because of its topography. It flows right down the hill and serve the city of New York. Here's another area that looks like it's uh, closed off. This car is going to get clean very well. Pressure washer. I think this might be it. The Bronx Community College. Yep. Bronx Community College to my left. I just have to find the main entrance now and hope that it's open. It will be a shame if this uh, college campus is closed to the public. But it's understandable if they want to do so. Just because of uh, health and safety reasons. I know when I went to Queens uh, College, they didn't let anybody onto the campus. But if it's closed off, I'll just take a walk around and see what I could see just from the street level. And it is open. Hopefully I can get in. Let's see. Let me see. Hey. Hi. I just want to tour the campus. I'm sorry? Just want to tour the campus, walk around. Unfortunately, due to COVID, you can't do that. Man. And during regular times, you can't just show up for that. You would have to call ahead oh, and make an wow. appointment for a tour date. Okay. They would give you a tour. That, like, they would put you in a groove and take you and give you Darn. Yeah, because yeah, I know it's a really nice one. Yeah, I understand. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I know a yeah. lot of people like to come, but we can't. We can't just let anyone in. Yeah, I understand, man. Yeah, but tour like only essential staff right now. Okay, COVID, so. got it. I apologize, man. All right, thanks. No problem. Have a good day. Okay. Take care. All right. Well, there's our answer. We can't come, unfortunately. The entrance at Hall of Fame Terrace is accessible. So now we know you can't just show up here and tour the grounds of the Bronx Community College unless you have an appointment. And due to COVID right now, only essential staff are allowed to be on the campus, which is another shame. But that doesn't stop me from walking around the campus and seeing what I could see from the streets. There's a nice branch of the New York Public Library there, Francis Martin Branch.
There's also another section of this campus I wanted to see, which is called the um, Great American Hall of Fame. There's busts of like prominent American historical figures. And that, I think, has a separate entrance. It's a nice looking church here. Now, a lot of the buildings in that campus, too, are designed by the renowned architect Stanford White, who also helped to design the uh, Washington Square Arch, um, the original Penn Station, among many others. Actually, it won't be too bad. I can still get a good tour of what the school looks like because I could peer into the thing here. All right, so they got a big track and field. Looks like large building over there in the distance. A shame they have this netting here. It makes it really hard to see anything. And then over here, there's no netting, but a low fence in the way. Okay. Well, to be honest, this track and field needs a lot of work. Looks like it's outdated and definitely needs some resurfacing but the buildings themselves are really magnificent. There's Snow Hall over to my right. Okay, so that says Hall of Fame Terrace. So I'm assuming that the Hall of Fame entrance is near. I saw on Google Maps that the Hall of Fame itself is closed though. Which I'm assuming due to my interaction with the, um, the officer there at the entrance will be closed as well. That's actually a nice looking building over there. All right, here's the campus, Bronx Community College and also the entrance to the Hall of Fame, but there's also a security guard here. So I doubt I'll be able to just walk in and tour the grounds. But regardless, this is a very, very magnificent building here on the hill.
and it still blows my mind that I've never been to this area before and I've lived in New York all my life. I never even knew that this was a part of NYU's forgotten history when they actually had a campus in the Bronx. I guess this would have been their main school where they had like large open spaces instead of what they've got now in um, Manhattan and Brooklyn. People like to joke that NYU doesn't have a campus and that the city itself is their campus. You can also say that Washington Square Park is unofficially like its main meeting point and their school campus, but that's owned by the city. They also have a lot of buildings around NYU, so Union Square is like a campus as well. And um, now they have a Brooklyn campus, the uh, School of Engineering. That one has the Metro Tech uh, Commons which is a lot of concrete but not too much greenery so just kind of more of the same big city life aha uh -huh. well there's the hall of fame you can see the bus of um, the great american historical figures up there i would love to see it in person Well, um, that van needs some work on their wheels or whatever. Security camera right here. Really need to see this here in the Bronx. Let's go around these people washing their car. Seems to happen a lot around here, a lot of street car washing. Really need to see this tucked away in the Bronx like this. Also, I saw to my right here, there's another park that goes along the river. I think it's called the Riverwalk Park. I saw on Google. Oh, it's called the uh, University Woods. What is this? People dumping TVs along here? That's not cool. Wow, there's so much stuff up there. It's a shame that it's not even open to the public. Well, maybe it is, but I didn't try and I kind of already know what the answer is going to be. So gorgeous. And it's a shame over here, this is all being used for like a landfill, it looks like. People are just dumping their stuff here. But yeah, NYU's old campus, very impressive. Look at that, you can even see it. New York University chartered in the Roman numerals year, University Heights purchased. There it says Hall of Fame. It would also help if they cleared out some of this brush as well. It's very overgrown now. And not really maintained that well. The city didn't really maintain this campus that well after uh, NYU sold it off. I see that much. Especially by that uh, track and field too. That track and field really looked like it was in need of repair. Maybe it was better they didn't let me onto the campus 
so they didn't have to show me how uh, disrepaired their facilities were. I'm sure if NYU still owned the campus, it would be maintained a lot better. I'm sure if NYU wanted to, they could easily repurchase this campus back from the city. I mean, it's one of the richest schools in terms of endowments now and probably the, uh, the wealthiest private landowner in New York City. All right, crossing over the street here. So I want to take a look at what it looks like from across the streets. And look at this. There's an old staircase here that descends. Actually, there's someone there that's sitting down. I can see why they didn't open that up because there's holes in the fence there. Sounds like Metro North. University Woods Park. Okay. Let's go in just for a little bit. Well, this section over here is not bad. Definitely be maintained a lot better. But like I said, there's holes in the the railing there. And uh, I'm not sure if this garbage here is gonna be picked up later. I hope it is. Hopefully it's not used as a dumping grounds like uh, the other side of the street there on Sedgwick. So surprisingly, well I know where this goes, that was the original entrance I saw. There's like three different pathways. There's the upper pathway over there, this middle one, and then the lower one. The lower one actually looks like it goes down onto the street there. And here's another one that goes down. I think what I want to do is go down here and then make a left. I mean, I'd like to walk all these pathways. Let's go down this way. This park definitely needs to be maintained a lot better. I mean, I get that it's like mostly natural, seems like, but there's holes in the fence. There's like stones everywhere and not maintained well at all. Just like the Bronx Community College, it seems like this area has been neglected. Also, there's a glass in the ground too, so you got to be careful not to cut yourself. Definitely don't wear open-ended footwear. Well, that was definitely one of the uh, 
strangest parks I've been to. Now, now I believe this is a street called Cedar Avenue. Let's go to the railing here and see exactly where I am. Okay, so this is the Major Deegan Expressway, which goes up towards um, Albany. I think there's uh, Interstate 87. And south it goes to the RFK Bridge, originally called the Triborough Bridge. And that over there is the University Heights Bridge. I plan to walk over the Uni University Heights Bridge into Manhattan, the uh, neighborhood of Inwood, Manhattan. That's the uh, northernmost neighborhood on Manhattan Island. Well, this area is very quiet, this block. You're right next to the University Woods and the highway. And this is where I would have been if I went the other way. Nice that they have um, free doggy bags here. Oh, look, illegal dumping reward program. If you provide information about illegal dumping that leads to a fine, you may be eligible to receive up to half of the payment. Oh, so you get paid to snitch on your neighbors. Interesting. This road surface needs to be in better shape. waiting for my opportunities across the street because I want to get a closer look at some of these buildings here. This one here is called Cedar Manor. Owner managed luxury rentals, no fee renovated apartments. There's some nice homes across the street. Looks like uh, two family homes, maybe three family if they have a basement. The 
the swan cedar arms. Now it looks like we're going to go downhill from here. Looks like this building over here is also managed by the same company, the Gold Farb Properties. I think there's some new construction there right in front of me. Well, we're rapidly going downhill now. That's the University Heights Bridge. Once I cross over the bridge, I'll be in Manhattan and um, be on 207th Street. But this is Fordham Road and Cedar Avenue. If you keep going east on Fordham Road, you'll eventually hit the Bronx Zoo. And also the main shopping area of the Bronx. Looks like there's a lot of traffic here. But anyway, I'm going to end my video here. If you enjoy this video walking through University Heights and my attempt to get into Bronx Community College, the old campus of NYU, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And thank you, Bus, for ruining my view. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, folks. Take care.